I was hitchhiking. Um, every time I was staying with somebody, you know, I had somewhere to sleep, but if not, I had my tent, you know. Uh, it was getting colder, it was kind of getting into minus figures at, at night time, and it was, it was cold. And so I just bought this, you know, $300 camper van. I had nowhere to live, so I was like, okay, I'll move into the camper van. Bear in mind, it sat like in the middle of a town. Um, it just kind of surrounded by people. It's got four flat tires. It looks like a hunk of junk, because it kind of is. And uh, it was fairly conspicuous, you know, I, I was gonna be seen, but I had to, you know, I, so I moved into it. So I'm living in this van and there's like a, there's like a supermarket right across the road. And I'm pretty sure they, they became used to me just walking in and then going to use their toilets and being like, I'd go brush my teeth in the toilets <laughs> and then go out and buy breakfast. When you're traveling just out of a bag, you can't, you can't buy anything really. Um, nothing serious, because you've, you've got to carry it with you. And now all of a sudden I had all this space, you know, I had space to put stuff. So I was able to buy cereal and I bought milk and I was like, oh, home away from home. But yeah, my, my first time with the van was me actually camping in it. One morning, I got a knock on the door, knock on the window. I was like, oh, kids mucking around. So I've been used to people just, while I'd been sat in the van, people would come up and like peer through the window. Be like, oh, somebody in there, somebody living. Quick, run away. So I've been used to people kind of knocking on the door um, or peering in. I was a big old bang on the door. Oh, oh, who's that, kids? They'll go. Another knock on the door. Police? Oh, police, oh no, crap. So I open the door like peer out in my sleeping bag, I peer out and he's like, hi, like, hey, good morning. And he um, yeah, proceeded to kind of ask me what I was doing, why I was living in a bus in the middle of Valdez. Um, so I told him, you know, said what was gonna happen. He's like, okay, that's cool. Um, but you know, you can't be here for too long. You know, you need to get this sorted. I had to, I had like a deadline basically. He said, you know, you've got three days to let me know what's going on and then we'll start kind of taking action. I looked at hiring a truck, I looked at hiring a trailer, I looked at shipping it out of um, out of Valdez where we were. Um, it was like £4,000 to ship it out of Valdez, so it was never going to happen. And then I, I managed to find this guy on, um, was it Craigslist, who had a truck in Alaska. He'd moved himself down to, to Denver and he needed his truck getting from Alaska to Denver. So he said, um, you know, I rang him up and said, uh, yeah, he said, I'll give you some fuel money and everything, but that's all I need. I just need somebody to, I need somebody to, to drive it for me. So I was like, okay, yeah, this this works. It's got a tow bar. Yeah, it's got a tow bar. Cool. That works. Um, so I then thought, okay, right, I need to get back to Anchorage, which is where the, the truck was. Um, went back there, managed to pick up some tyres when I was back in uh, back in Anchorage. Truck was kind of ready to roll. You know, I got these, I got lights on her so she could be seen at night. I got this Bronco truck to tow it. 5.8 litre V8 automatic. Uh, automatic bit was fine. I, I could cope with that. But 5.8 litres, holy moly! It's like a hundred dollars to fill the tank with with gas, and uh, it would get me about 200 miles. It was, it was hardly anything. So my money was my money was going to go downhill pretty pretty quickly. But you know, I was all kind of set and ready to ready to hit the road. And I look in my rear, rear view mirror and there's a truck coming up behind me. Big, massive American truck. I'm like, right, okay, well, I'm not gonna pull over because that's what happened last time. I'm just gonna stay here where I am dead straight this truck comes flying past and as he goes I'm like oh right okay made it we're all safe we're safe and then once again out of the blue I just get this poof, 